Hey there, I wanna give you a quick update today on the channel. So first of all, I appreciate all the subscriptions that have happened recently and also all the comments. I really appreciate the time that you take to comment on the videos. Now I want to discuss the two presets, F8 and Be There and the Emotion preset. So on F8 and Be There, I've had some feedback from, uh, mainly from Rob and Dirk and they suggested that it's it's better to use the snap distance priority and you know I've, I've tested it and i would agree with you i think it's a better starting point to have that uh, snap distance priority on i'm going to go over that in a minute and the second one is uh with the emotion preset willie uh commented that maybe it's better to turn off the auto shake and yet again i would agree with you willie thank you very much for pointing it out so now I'm going to go over my settings again and just give you a quick, a quick update on each of the presets. Go into the menu and choose still image settings and go down to number four, which is the shooting settings and then go across to snap distance priority. Select this and then turn it on. Go back out. If I go back out now to the actual um, normal shooting screen, you'll notice a few things have happened. Okay, so at the top, on the top right hand corner, we have two new settings. So uh, DOF, three and two meters. So we have several things we can adjust here. DOF means depth of field. So we can have depth of field one, two or three. Three is the deepest of the setting. So it gives you the most depth of field. If we turn the wheel at the back, we can actually decrease it to depth of field 2 and then depth of field 1. The depth of field 1 is shallow, quite shallow. So, um, yeah, I, I like to start using depth of field 3. So if I have depth of field 3 and then the, the snap focus distance set to 2 meters, if you look on the left at the focus scale, you can see that We've got one meter all the way through to infinity sharp, which essentially is the same manual focus position that we set before for the initial preset. We still have F8 and it's a really good focus range, but this mode is much better actually. And I'm thankful to the people who commented because this is better. So I'll show you why. So we can actually change the focus distance here. So if I, increase the focus distance by turning the wheel at the front so f 2.5 you notice that the f-stop is going down which is better for us so if a, if a subject is further away we can actually turn turn the focus further away using the front wheel and that gives us more light which should lower the ISO obviously here I'm, I'm shooting in my office um, so there's no it, yeah, it's pretty dark okay Plus, I want the screen to be black so you can see the settings. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would start by setting it depth of field 3 and then at 2 meters. That could be a starting point. And then you can play around with it from there. So, one other thing I might do before I actually save the setting would be to go back into the menu, go across and down to customize settings, and then go down to function button setting here. And I would go down, actually, wait, let me select it. I'd go down and then I would find the snap distance priority here and I'd add that to the function button. This would allow me to use the function button to toggle that snap distance priority on and off. Okay, go back out and then go up to the top. And now we can save the preset. So save settings choose the box that you want in my case I'm going to keep it F8 and B there enter the name and yeah I have to toggle down but you can just press the enter key and choose the box if you want to and press OK and that's completed there is one added bonus shooting with this mode and that is um, we can actually tap the screen to focus and shoot so imagine you're set with your focus distance say at three three point five meters but there's something much nearer that you want to photograph and have sharp uh, 
as long as this settings enabled let me just go to the setting first so we go to customize settings and go down to touch AF and then touch AF we can have AF point plus focus plus shoot if this is enabled like this you can just tap the screen at any point and the, and the camera will focus on that point and take the shot now the benefits of being inside of snap distance priority is that once you take the shot that's nearby the focus will automatically jump back to the correct point that it was at before so that's really awesome that's a bonus open the menu go to still image settings and then across and down to number seven which is shooting assist go across to here and then you'll see we've got shake reduction make sure this is set to off then we've got auto SR off this actually um, works only when you use the self timer so if you put your camera onto a tripod and you want to do a selfie using the self timer then it would turn off the shake reduction for you and the final thing I turn off is the horizon correction this also uses the um, in-body stabilization so I think it's best to turn it off so once these three things are turned off we can just come out we can go back to customize settings and then we can save these settings into our box so I'm going to use the same name as before emotion and I'm going to put it there in user 2 and that is completed if you found this video useful please hit the like button and also consider subscribing if you haven't already done so